Today's project is repairing our KitchenAid stainless steel dishwasher. A few days ago it just stopped working, uh, completely dead, no response to any controls, no lights on the control panel whatsoever. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through some basic troubleshooting uh, for stuff that you might be able to fix yourself. So as you can see I've already pulled mine apart and uh, done the basic troubleshooting steps. Uh, if you can't get the dishwasher out uh, from your cabinet, you may be able to work underneath, you may be able to just work on only the door. I pulled mine out completely. Fine. So the issue I was having is this was totally dead. I wasn't getting any lights on this, no matter what buttons I pressed whatsoever at all. Uh, first I tried unplugging it for a time, plugging it back in, I checked all my breakers. None of that really helped. To get this door off, I, uh, I folded the whole thing down, and it has screws all around the perimeter of this door. The screws are a Torx head screw on this model. I used the Torx uh, T15. I did find that there were four long screws, and those actually went across the top of this door here, these four locations. What things look like here. Okay, so these screws are actually all along this rim here, all the way around. Getting that off gives me access to this control panel. This is the brains and the heart of the machine. Okay? So because I was getting no power at all, I wanted to check the main thermal fuse, which sits right in this location here. Clips into there, okay? But I've pulled it out. Okay, so for testing to this device, what I have is I have my multimeter here with me. I have it set to voltage AC for alternating current. I've taken one of the probes, if you see here, use an alligator clip just to free up one of my hands, and it's it's clipped to it's clipped to the frame of the machine, uh, which is which is a good reference uh, for for this voltage. So I take the opposite probe with the machine plugged in. Now I've just plugged the machine in. I'm going to read one of these terminals. Okay. Right now that connector is reading pretty much no voltage. 0.380 volts AC. And even with my probe disconnected, which I just did, we have a tiny voltage that the meter is reading. The meters can read very, very small voltages. So now, I will probe the other connector, and I should have my AC voltage. So here at my house, my voltage sits at 119.6 volts AC. So as you see, the probe that I'm connected, the, the clip that I'm connected to right now is my incoming AC voltage, and then this one here would be going out to go to the rest of the machine. So I've already, based on that test, I've learned that this piece has failed. This thermal fuse has failed. So as an additional test, to find out if there's anything else going wrong, what I'll do is I'll carefully collect, connect my alligator clips to bypass this temporarily, okay? Now you do not want to run your machine like this, okay? This is just a temporary test to see if I can get the machine to turn on and give me some type of response. And I'm already, I'm already hearing it clicking, I'm already hearing a response from it. And then if I hit one of these buttons up here, I have power again. So uh, if you've got one of these machines, or really any dishwasher or a similar appliance, you should be looking for one of these thermal fuses first. This appliance is only about four years old, uh, and the thermal fuse has already failed. The thermal fuse is supposed to be a safety feature, a safety function, but uh, nothing really happened with this machine that would cause this to fail. We didn't have a fire in or anything like that. Um, and the breaker never tripped, so I knew we weren't drawing too much current. So, my theory with some of these thermal fuses is that they just age. So I think it just got too worn out, it became weak, uh, and it failed. Good luck with yours, I hope you find your problem as easily as I did.